Whoa. It's just like it's sugar. Sugar, I can't talk properly. Hello, welcome to Chat Science. I am Hayley Loren and today is very exciting because we are looking at the molecular structure of chocolate. So you may already know that the molecular structure of a substance is really critical to the actual properties of the substance. So basically the way the atoms are arranged inside the substance will dictate its melting point or how hard the substance is or even how brittle it is. So today we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment on chocolate to show exactly this. Chocolate is made up of lots of different ingredients, the main one being cocoa butter. Now, cocoa butter is pretty cool because it can actually take on many different molecular structures. It's kind of greedy like that. And each of these structural forms gives the chocolate totally different properties. So there is one type of molecular structure that is known to be the best within cocoa butter. And that's because it gives the chocolate the property of having a melting point which is exactly the same as the temperature within our mouths. So that is why you're able to get that amazing melt in the mouth moment. But have you ever had chocolate that has this really weird waxy texture and doesn't actually melt in your mouth? That's probably because the molecular structure isn't the best type. So let's get started with the experiment to show how the molecular structure of chocolate impacts the properties of the chocolate. So to do the experiment, we need to melt a bit of chocolate. So I've got a deep dish here and I have a glass of chocolate. So all you need to do is put it in the dish. Now we just need to get some boiling water, which I have here. <laughs> so I'm pouring the hot water into the large glass glass dish so hopefully this will make the chocolate melt so you might just want to give it a little mush around it can kind of speed it up this is so good it's so tempting i really just want to like eat all of this right now oh it's going so what's actually happening as the chocolate melts it's losing its structure so the molecular structure is breaking down and that means that when the chocolate solidifies again, it can actually form into any one of the molecular structures that we were talking about before. Cool, so we now have some melted chocolate, which means it's not solidified in any of the molecular forms that we've got. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cool it down and then it's going to form hopefully into a completely different molecular structure. So I'm just going to get a plate and just as a bit of warning, I've tried this on a plate before and it's really hard to get the chocolate off. So you may want to do it on some baking paper, um, but I'm just going to use the plate because I don't have any. I forgot it from the shop. Right, now for the fun bit. Let's put the hot water aside. Be careful with the glass because it could and is actually quite hot. Um, so just hold it near the top and pour. Love it. This is so satisfying. Yes, so we now have our lovely melted chocolate on a plate. So you just wanna pop that in the fridge and let it solidify. Um, I'm just gonna leave mine to the side because like a true Blue Peter moment, uh, I did actually make some earlier because otherwise you'd be sitting here waiting for a good half an hour, which I think would be quite boring. So here is some I made earlier and um, you can see that I kind of had to hack it off the plate, which is why I'm suggesting you use the baking paper because then you can kind of bend it off, which will be a bit easier. But I do promise you, this is the chocolate. It's exactly the same. It's Cadbury's chocolate that we used before and it is the same, I promise you that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to compare the two now. So I'm gonna get the Christmas tree chocolate again because it's Christmas and they were in the shops and I couldn't say no. Um, so let's have a look. So you can already see that the Cadbury's chocolate before, so the Christmas tree chocolate is really, really glossy. And the one that I melted and then re-solidified, it's like, 
it's just not glossy at all. It's really kind of bland and it just looks really boring. Now the Christmas tree chocolate, which we haven't melted, should have a really nice snap. So let's do this. I'm, I'm hoping that you can hear this. I'm gonna do it near my mic. So there's a proper snap actually, and it's quite tough to break, I would say. Whereas the one that we melted and then re-solidified, it's like really bendy. You know what, I was expecting that there would be a difference, but I didn't think it would be that different. What we've basically got is the Christmas tree chocolate. It snaps, it's just pure solid. Whereas the one that we melted and then re-solidified, it's just, it's really bendy. It's like, and now it's just completely melting in my hand. It's like the melting point in this one is actually lower because it's just, yeah, it's melting all over me. Okay, now though, I have to do, obviously, a bit of a taste test. So let's get a bit of the chocolate that hasn't been melted. And obviously, it tastes like normal Cadbury's chocolate, dairy milk, which is yummy. Now, we'll try some of the melted one. It doesn't look as appetizing, actually. Ah, it's really bendy as well. Well, <laughs> it really doesn't look very nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, it's really sweet. Whoa. It's just like it's sugar, sugar, <laughs> I can't talk properly. The difference is insane. So. The one that we melted and then solidified again, it melts so much quicker in your mouth. And it's like this overpowering sweetness. And I mean, Cadbury's is sweet anyway, but wow, I definitely prefer the one that we didn't melt <laughs> and then re-solidify. It's so much better. So you can see, right, that the molecular structure it's completely different because the properties of the chocolate are different. So the Cadbury's one that we didn't melt, it's glossy and it's hard and it snaps when you break it. But the one that we have melted, that one is like, it's dull and it's really soft and it's got a lower melting point. So the properties are completely different. So why this is important and what is really cool about this is that it shows that the molecular structure of a substance completely impacts and dictates the properties that it has. So it could be chocolate or it could be this, this plate, it could be the table and it could be you and me. Like we are all made of atoms that are bonded together in different ways. And we are all formed by complex molecular structures. And that's what is so incredible that by changing the molecular structure, you kind of change even what it is. Amazing. So there we have it, a fun science experiment with chocolate. I hope that you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you did and you like my videos, then please do subscribe. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. So see you next week.